Well, hello everybody and welcome to Resonant Frequency, the video edition. Uh, my name is Richard, KB5JBV, and uh, I'm uh, the host of Resonant Frequency and a co one of the co-hosts over at uh, Linux in the Ham Shack. So uh, y'all come by and see us at those places. Um, as a rule, we try and do stuff for the new guys, uh, kind of get them up to speed and stuff. Uh, what you're looking at right now is uh, a program called XDX. XDX is used for uh, working DX clusters. But uh, we'll get further into that in a few minutes. I just want to point out that a DX cluster is a place, there's a network of DX clusters around the planet. And uh, there are several different DX cluster programs for running these things. But you can access them, and uh, people go there, and they post uh, DX spots. Uh, if you can, as you can tell, uh, NY9, NY9H uh, had a spot on 21285 with uh, the station he was hearing was H44MS. And his remark is H4, which would be letting folks know where he is. Um He's in Pennsylvania, and the time of the spot is here, and the country is kind of hid because I've got this window smaller, so it's easier to see the stuff. But uh, H4 would apparently be the Solomon Islands. So let's go ahead and put that away for a minute. The easiest way to get on uh, the easiest way to get on a DX cluster is the old fashioned way using Telnet. Now, for those of you guys that are younger and don't remember Telnet, uh, never used Telnet, Telnet predates the World Wide Web. Uh, it's one of the earliest ways that we were able to use the internet. So in this case, you would get the address of the DX, DX cluster you're looking for you would initiate your Telnet connection by typing Telnet. And we can do that here. And it will give it will take us into Telnet where we could add that address also and it would take us where we needed to be. But for now, we're just going to do it this way. Now where do you get the addresses, you may ask? And if y'all get dizzy the way we do the transitions, please let me know so I can uh, figure out another way. There are lots of pages out on the internet that will give you the addresses of the DX clusters. Now, the one we were looking at just then, or the one we'll go to here in just a second, is uh, AB5K's DX cluster in Holland, Texas. I use that one because it's pretty close. Uh, it shows worldwide spots. Sometimes I'll use AB5K-2, which is only spots that come from inside the U.S. But as you'll notice, you have these addresses, and occasionally there'll be one with a colon 7300. Now, the default port for Telnet is uh, 23. However, with some of these programs, this gentleman here is running DX Spider, DX Spider, and DX Spider. This guy's running DX Spider, but using port 8000. Um, in some cases, you'll use, those will be the port. As a rule, you don't have to add the port number to get in. But on these guys, you will. So let's talk about AD5K a moment. As you can see, I've got Telnet DXC AB5K dot net. Since Telnet's going or it's going to default to port 23, all we have to do is type it in like that. When we do that, we're logged on to AB5K over Telnet. Now on most DX clusters, you have to put in your call sign so that they recognize you or so that you're logged in 
and that's more information we'll get on on that web page in a minute and now we're on as far as the basics are concerned uh there's a basic set of uh basic set of commands that dx clusters understand there's a dx spot and i'll have to put that command in again apparently but there's a that's a dx spot coming through on telnet and the only reason they're wrapped around is because i've got the screen smaller so y'all can see what's going on so uh, if we go and type that basic command which is sh stroke dx and i'll type it again in a second it'll show us all the spots back for uh looks like a, almost an hour actually huh, that's just in the last seven minutes but see there are still spots coming through and let's type that command a little quicker so y'all can see it shdx and it'll show us uh, the freshest ones i guess since the last time we looked at it uh, if you need help on the dx cluster all you have to do is type help and it'll bring up a list of commands okay so we've done this via telnet let me uh if we wanted to do it the other way using the telnet net program and this comes installed when you install your linux operating system you can do it also through dos in uh, also through dos in uh, windows now we went into the telnet program if we entered that same address at the telnet at the prompt in the telnet program Huh, wouldn't work. Maybe it needs a port number, but we're not going to fool with that right now. They don't give us a lot of time in these uh, YouTube videos. So that's via Telnet. Y'all go back and check it out if uh, Telnet seems the way to go for you. Now, the program we're looking at here is a basic program that comes up. Uh, that you can install through the package manager in Linux, which uh, is called XDX. XDX is pretty simple. It allows you to automate a couple of things. It's not a full blown deal. If you take a look at it, there's DX spots up here. It gives you the information as I've shown you before. Down here is information that comes from the cluster directly to you. Uh, let's disconnect well that was a little more disconnect than i was expecting but that's okay this is what happens when you're making videos let's go ahead and get that bad boy back up if we can remember where it is there it is okay so now it's back up and we're in unconnected mode so if we want to connect in the uh uh, cluster I'm using for XDX for this video is dxctdxs.net port number is 23 since this is already in there all I have to do when I get there is type in my call sign and it allows me in you'll see that these are highlighted because I have them in over here as far as uh, setting it up, all you have to do is get a call sign in there so they can verify who you are. There are other things that you can change. Y'all take some time to look at it. And then it just sits there and waits for the spots to come along. Uh, as far as XDX is concerned, the manual in XDX is a very pretty good uh, introduction to Telnet using XDX. Tells you about getting the commands and connecting and stuff like that. Different things you can do with the program itself. It's a pretty good little tutorial. Uh, so even if you don't run XDX, I would suggest at least take a look at the manual for XDX because it can sure help you out. 
Okay. And we've already got a spot in El Salvador. I'm really sorry about that, folks. I should have made this window a little bigger. Uh, in El Salvador. Okay. With that, we're going to take a look at this real quick. Like I said, there's pages like this all out on the internet. Telnet access to DX clusters. Uh, lists of DX clusters. These are mostly AR cluster and DX spider. There are other programs out there for doing it. Um, this, like this video is mainly targeted for the Linux guys. I'm not sure there's an XDX, uh, program for windows or Mac, but there should be an equivalent out there. Just go on out to Google and check it out. All right. With that, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this up. I hope you guys, uh, get, are able to use the information in this video. And if any of you guys know a better desktop record recorder, y'all uh, get in touch with me at uh, kb5jbv at gmail.com. kb5jbv at gmail.com. And with that, we're going to move on down the road. Thank you for uh, joining us, and we'll see y'all next time.